I know I haven't uploaded anything in forever, so I'm making this video to tell you guys that I am alive and doing great. I haven't had much time to upload with school and other subjects like my future and whatnot. Realistically, I'm just putting off doing work and procrastinating, and I've had this project sitting in my files for months now. I also wanted to thank you for hitting 100 subscribers since the last I uploaded because that's pretty good for not doing anything for at least a year. And to my teacher watching this, do not watch my channel, please. I'm only doing this so I can kill two birds with one stone and getting back to uploading and my school project done. Anyways, to something interesting, the top 5 most fun Brawlhalla characters to play, in my opinion. At number 1, Taros. Just kidding. At number 5, I have Mirage. After seeing Sandstorm win the Summer Championships with this character, you know everyone has to start playing the character, including me. One of her weapons is Spear, which is a pretty simple weapon, but can be super strong and be really fun if you play it right. I personally love her Spear because of how much strength she has. Her Spear Sticks are so much fun. I love hitting my opponent with a side stick that launches them into oblivion that comes out faster than an LGBTQ member on Twitter. Sorry, X. Her Spear's down signature is also fun to hit. You know those annoying scythe players that just jump and fish down air the entire match? All you need is a slide and a down charge. It also hits below the stage, so you can hit those annoying ledge campers. And finally, her neutral stick. Her neutral stick is also very strong, but just has very high versatility. Her next weapon is Scythe. The weapon itself being Scythe already makes it fun, and doing complicated strings, reading the opponent, and throwing your opponent around. What makes that better is her high strength. You can do a couple moves, read a dodge, and your opponent is suddenly on life support. Don't even get me started on the sigs. Her down sig is so fun to hit because it comes out so fast, but it doesn't seem like it would have much force. But before you know it, boom, you get hit with a tiny island. Next is her neutral sig. It's a great sig. It has a lot of force and it combos amazingly with a lot of side smooths. It hits grounded and simply a good sig. Finally, her side sig gets it's a bit underwhelming. All in all, her sigs are so fun and have a lot of force, and her weapons are great too, and I personally think she belongs at number 5 on this list. At number 4 I have Caspian. I personally enjoy gauntlets a lot, and guitars are another fun weapon so I had to put this character here. Not only that, but he also has high attack. We love high attack. His gauntlets feel better than m most, if not all of the roster in Brawlhalla. Something about his gauntlets makes hitting things like down air into neutral air so much better to hit. His sigs are also so much fun. I personally like the down sig. You just drop some bombs down and your opponent is sent to the shadow realm. And his neutral sig? Something about it makes everyone jump into it and get sent into the heaven realms, like a magnet. And his side sig. It is a blessing to be at the edge of the map and hit that side sig to send your opponent off the screen. It just has so much force and it's insane. His katars are also great. Katars on their own is a fun weapon doing crazy stuff off stage, but with his signatures, the lacking killing ability is solved with a ridiculous neutral sig covering most dodges that has way too much force. The side sig also has a problem. It has maybe a little too much range, and it also hits like a semi truck. And finally, the funnest of all the sigs is down sig. You fly up in the air like a bird and you throw dives downwards, which launches off stage opponents into oblivion, as well as being a difficult move to punish. At number 3, I have Val. Her gauntlets are so fun and the signatures are amazing. Her down sig can combo into other things, her side sig is just amazing, and her neutral sig is something that should be locked in a purgatory. Her sword is another story. Sure, sword can be a fun weapon sometimes, but it's mostly on the blander side, but with her sigs it changes all that. It's so satisfying to hit her neutral sig when you read a jump, and it's just a good feeling anytime you hit it. Her neutral sig is arguably and probably her best sig. It's amazing. It comes out fast, and if you do it off stage, it swings downwards spiking. If you land on the ground, it swings forward on a fast on stage kill option. And if you land on a wall, it's an elevator straight up that covers your head from threat. Her down sig is a little underwhelming though. At number 2, I have any of the Battle Boots legends, which is Tezka, Teya, and Red Raptor. I put them all here because they're all equally fun because of battle boots, and it just depends on if you enjoy their secondary weapon too. I personally like Tezka because of well, gauntlets, and Taya has an amazing and annoying sig, and so does Red Raptor. Battle boots is an amazing weapon where it goes into a lot of stuff that goes into more stuff, and it's just so fun to do long combos and tear apart your opponent. Battle boots is also extremely strong off stage, and it's basically a threat everywhere. At number 1, I have, drumroll please, Rayman. Just kidding, it's Loki. 
The newest character in Brawlhalla is great. His weapons are Katars and Scythe, which have been both mentioned before and don't need a reintroduction. His signatures are also some of the best in the game, and they look so cool and they're so fun to hit. Being able to toss enemies around is just way too fun with Loki, and it takes that to another level, and I'm really enjoying Loki right now. Obviously because he's new, some changes are bound to happen, but as of right now, he's the most fun character I've ever played. All in all, these characters are the most fun in my opinion, as well as taking into consideration outside opinions. Personally, at number 1 I would've put Barraza, but not many players find Blasters fun. Any character is very fun, and all they need is the right player. For example, some people don't enjoy Blasters as much as I do, and so I find those characters more fun than canon. And some people enjoy canon way more than other weapons, so it all comes down to personal preference. Thank you for watching, and I'll try to upload more.